hello welcome and or welcome back to my channel it's your girl olivia we are having a semester we're living a life and i thought it'd be really fun to do a thing where I just complain you know everybody tells you like keep a positive outlook and like don't think that this video is me being negative it's not but catharsis is good for you catharsis is good for the soul so with that being said we got wine we'll say I'm gonna drink this riscato. I'm a college student, by the way, so don't expect me to be out here serving y'all um, $400 wine really. No, riscato is $12.99 and it's really good, but we're gonna drink this wine and I'm gonna wine. And honestly, if you'd like to join me, join me, let's chat. And don't forget, like, comment, share and subscribe um and let's hang out so where do i even start <laughs> you know how like people ask you and they're like oh how are you it, it's getting to a point where i can't even be like i'm fine <laughs> but don't be concerned um it's getting to a point where i'm really just like i'm here i'm chilling I'm okay <laughs> like I'm not terrible but I just there's a lot of things going on in my life so let's start with the most important so as I've been like alluding to a lot on my channel I'm a senior in college and I'm about to take the GRE very soon um, if you don't know, the GRE is kind of like the uh, the SAT to go to grad school. Um, it's the exam, the graduate record examination. So recently I paid for it. And I paid $205 to take this exam. And let's, let's have a chat. The problem is that I think that that is ridiculous. That is preposterous that blows my mind it's it's inaccessible to a degree that's that's really funny and when I paid for it I literally just felt like <laughs> like dang you really paid two hundred and five dollars to to take a test and I think that that the biggest issue that I have is that it's so inaccessible because it's becoming a a requirement to have higher education a requirement to have more than a bachelor's degree but it's priced as a luxury and that's inaccessible to people who don't have money it's inaccessible to people who don't have a means to travel to all these ridiculous testing locations it's ridiculous how much money you have to take before you can even step foot into a grad school and honestly the grad school programs that I'm applying to in total after I finish my application would have cost me almost $500. That is unacceptable. UNACCEPTABLE! It's just so discouraging sometimes. And I tweeted the other day, I was like, you know, applying for the GRE really this is a look. This is how I want to live my life. Wow. <laughs> but I'm actually just stressed. You ever saw that tweet? It was like, um, life was supposed to be easy peasy lemon squeezy, but it's literally just difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. Yes. Can relate. So. So, yeah. Um, it gets very discouraging and. It gets to a point where I'm spending all this money and I don't even know like what what's to come. I don't even know if I'll get a good enough GRE score. I don't know if I'll get into the, the, the program of my dreams. Like it's all just very up in the air and it's it's very it's scary. It's really scary. Senioritis is completely senioritis in college is completely different from senioritis like it was in high school. It's not fun. It's really figuring out what the last four or five whatever years meant to you. 
and being prepared to to apply it in practice now and that is terrifying <laughs> that is very terrifying and thus very stressful on top of already having to be a student still having to perform well still having to do all of these things well so that has been very stressful and i think about it basically every day i think the hardest part has been um writing writing my personal statement it's so hard to like talk about all the best things about yourself like i don't know why but it's so so hard to just be like yeah i did this correctly this is my story and it's just hard because you don't know what they're looking for you don't know like if the story that you're telling is something that they enjoy and it's so crazy because you're trying to be your most authentic self but you don't know if it's 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 the right answer you know how people are like there are no wrong answers but if i give you myself and you deny me it's, it's all very frustrating and like i said it's on top of still having to do well in my classes i gave myself a personal goal this year well this semester specifically i want to be on the dean's list why are they so loud yeah, I want to be on the Dean's List, so I have been working really hard. I have A's in all my classes right now, and that's a win. You know, as much as we're here to complain, we're here to talk about the success. Like, I'm very proud of myself for that, but, ooh, child, the ghetto. It just, like I said, it gets very discouraging sometimes because you don't know you don't know and you won't know until months and months and months in advance and i have a friend who is applying for law school right now and uh, she feels like a similar way and i feel like all of my friends we're not <laughs> living our best lives yet and i'm just like ah! so it still has a little sticker on there. It's so cute. I tried to wash it. It's not working. But cheers to living a better life <laughs> from this point on. It's just, you really like, you know, you have to push through and you have to push through it. But how do you push through it when it, it like the GRE, applying to grad school, it all is so heavy. And I really, you know, want to put my best foot forward and I want to do well and be positive and do all of these things but one of the biggest things i believe in is like feeling how you feel when you feel it and quite frankly this sucks sometimes like as much as as encouraging as it is sometimes to to look to your future and know that you're not doing everything in vain that there is more to come hopefully <laughs> it sucks sometimes not being able to just know that that you're gonna be what you're gonna be and i guess we'll drink to the unknown too but that's it's all a mess it's a mess but thinking about like mental health and encompassing all of the stuff like it's hard not to not to be anxious and it's hard to practice healthy mental health habits when you know like the eye of a hurricane that's where my life is that's literally where my life is like sitting right in the eye of a hurricane just falling apart <laughs> but you know you really have to keep a, a positive mindset you have to but at the same time one thing i will say like mental health is something that i take very seriously depression is something that i take very seriously and it's also a matter of one thing i want y'all to learn from my channel is that with depression and anxiety it's not just you it's not just your environment there are literal chemical imbalances happening in your body that aren't all encompassing of your social life your emotional experiences but also like just your body reacting to to things and i don't want to get to a point where my body has to react through depression or react through anxiety because that's not fun and I'm very concerned sometimes with everything that's going on. But it is what it is, sisters. But yeah, this wine slap, slaps, 
slaps. But there's a very high pressure to be high performing in all of these things. I am completely in love with everything that I do. I, I really and truly am. And I don't think that like without the support system of, of peers and mentors that I've gained through my involvement, I wouldn't be in this place right now. I wouldn't feel confident enough to have my YouTube channel. I wouldn't be like, you know, applying for grad school in the way that I am. <sighs> that being said, I know the type of work I can produce and I'm afraid that with all of this happening that I'm not producing that work. And if you're involved, you we all kind of know what that's like, but it can be difficult. And it, it is difficult sometimes to find the balance. But one thing I will say is that I love my planner. I have a passion planner. I'm the queen of passion planners. Passion planner, if you're watching this, sweetie, send me an email. But one thing I will say is that as much as I like try to be on top of everything, I try to manage my time really well, sometimes I really just F up. And I feel like some like being a senior and having done all of this, that sometimes I'm not really afforded the grace to, to F up like that. And I'm just like, dang, I'm human. Chill, vibe. <laughs> but I truly feel like I can move on in in my life knowing that eventually things are gonna start start up re, re uh, <laughs> eventually things are gonna start um bettering themselves before me and i'm very excited to see that but like i said it's about that time 10 45 about that time <laughs> and yeah i I want to get over these feelings of like being anxious and being stressed out, but trust, I know that it's, it's just a part of applying to grad school and it's, I'm very, out of all of that, I'm very excited and like very much so looking forward to my future. And that's the part that's like keeping me pushing and keeping me up late at night is that I'm excited to see what the next part of my life holds. but. Woo, child. Honestly, this is how you know I'm struggling because I haven't had this headband on for... At this point, let me show y'all. At this point, I just match whatever I wear to my headband. Look at the dress. Cute, cute, period. <laughs> but honestly, it's like I'm trying to serve look, but I also just can't. So headband it will be. A headband it has been. But honestly... Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me as I kind of share a little bit about what I've been going through, some things that have been keeping me busy, but I mentioned this in like my Get Ready With Me video a couple couple videos ago about how my YouTube channel is for me to express like myself and doing videos like this is very helpful and I'm glad y'all chose to hang out with your girl, your boy, <laughs> and trust. We're going to keep it pushing. We're going to keep the struggle bus a moving. Even though it's a struggle bus, we're going to get that. We're going to keep it moving. We're going to keep it moving. And we're going to keep it moving. <laughs> and it's going to be cute. And I hope and I pray that in the end of the year, I'm coming back to y'all, barefaced and beautiful, telling you how I got accepted to multiple grad schools. And that's what we're going to look forward to. So if you feel like you need to have your own catharsis in the comments, definitely do that i am here for you friend but if you like this video like it subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next one bye I chose me.